my channel Ooh, it's fall it's fall time fall is here I'm so excited I love fall so much and I especially love fall makeup so today we're doing the first fall makeup tutorial of 2017 and I'm so excited to get back into like you know vampy lips and coppers and cranberry eyes and just Ooh, all the things that I love. And I use all affordable makeup products, but I'm really excited to tell you guys about the products that I use because honestly, I feel like the look turned out really well. Like, I'm so impressed with a lot of these products and I feel like I will choose them over a lot of high-end products in the future now that I know how well they work. But yeah, I'm super excited to show you guys how to create this look for fun. And I also use the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette because I saw so many of you guys requesting me to do more tutorials with that guy. I know a lot of you um, have it and want to see more tutorials. The only reason that I'm hesitant is that I know it's always sold out, so I don't know if it's going to be helpful for everybody if I do a bunch of tutorials using this Morphe palette, but I wanted to throw it in here just because I've seen so many of you guys requesting it. But if you don't have it, I wanted to give you a couple other eyeshadow palettes that I feel you could achieve like really really similar looks um, without having to have the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette so this one you could definitely achieve a similar look to what I have going on it's the Maybelline Makeup Shayla the City Mini palette there are some beautiful shades in here and it's drugstore affordable perfect and then the other palette that I would recommend if you want to create a similar look but don't have the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette is the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette in the shade Warm Neutrals this is again another just beautiful shade my phone is ringing Yo. You look so good. Are you filming a video right now? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, why do I do this every single time? <laughs> she always calls when I film. You look really good though. Oh my god. Thank you. Okay, dude, I really love how this look turned out. Not gonna lie. Oh, and I really like, it looks really good with your hair. Like, like yes. I'm feeling it. Yes. Yeah. You look good. Tell her she looks good. Comment down below she looks good. <laughs> okay, sorry guys. Literally, Jess always calls me right when I'm filming. Like, whether it's a vlog, whether it's a main channel video, she always has this intuition. But that is going to be it for this little intro. Let's go ahead and get into the video now that we've had a little excursion. And you guys, make sure to subscribe right down below if you want to see more of my videos. If you're excited for fall, because... Lots of fall stuff coming soon. Lots of fall makeup tutorials, fall makeup. I don't know, just lots of fall stuff coming soon. So if you love fall, subscribe down below. Don't forget, turn that notification bell on if you want to be notified of all of my videos. And let's get started before I get sidetracked again. So I already went ahead and primed my eyelids and then just set the primer with just like a um, pressed powder. You do want to use something that's kind of full covered for this look. Then I'm going to go directly into this warm tone brown. I love this shade for blending shades, especially for this type of look. I almost want the blending shades to look like they are like fall leaves or something. Like that's the color scheme that I'm going for. So this is the first shade that we're going to be putting down. And I really like this one because it blends out to a nice warm blending tone. And you do want to keep this transition shade in a circular motion so keep it pretty tight around the inner and outer corners next up I'm gonna take the shade that is actually right underneath that transition shade that we use and just kind of place that right into the crease again like I said I want this look to almost look like fall leaves especially in the transition shades so we're just gonna kind of be making a little gradient of warm reddish browns I always tend to start over here on the outside and then once I have less product on the brush I'll continue to like blend inwards just so we get that perfect blend that we're going for and see how I'm keeping it very rounded that is exactly what you want to do then with this gorgeous cranberry matte I'm gonna take that same exact brush I've been using the same brush this whole time I'm just gonna take the exact same brush and place that right underneath the previous two shades so that again we're continuing to create this beautiful fall color gradient and just to get this very last bit of crease shade in, I actually went ahead and mixed a little bit of that cranberry matte shade with a tiny, tiny bit of the bottom, like, purple shade. It's like the second one from the bottom next to the black. 
such a pretty little combo here. And then to really make it pop, this shade excites me so much. This is a beautiful metallic gold and it's almost like a foiled shadow. We're gonna use that to create a little bit of a cut crease, I would say. And I'm just basically patting that onto the lid. I didn't wet my brush, I didn't wet the eyeshadow, I didn't wet anything. This is literally the pigment that you get out of the pan when you're using it dry, which I think is incredible. And I think it's just the perfect gold to go with this crease shade. Then we're gonna add on some brown liner, and this is the Maybelline Eye Studio in the shade Brown. I like to do this sometimes just to give it a little bit of a lighter look. I also feel like browns just kind of like go more with the earthy tones that we're using already, so I thought I would finish it off with a little brown wing -a ding ding Boom. We're good. We're golden. We're going good. Honestly, I really, really like this Maybelline liner. I've been using it for a long time, and I just feel like it's so creamy. It's a great gel liner from the drugstore. I really, really enjoy it. And boom, 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 boom. Then I'm just going to pop on a really small coat of my favorite drugstore mascara. Honestly, favorite mascara of all time. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. This mascara does something crazy to my lashes. Like, it just makes them look so long, so voluminous, so everything that I could ever want, honestly. So we're popping on a little coat of that, but we are still going to go in with falsies. And today I'm using the House of Lashes Iconics. These are the normal Iconics, not the Iconic Lights, because they're a little bit more dramatic, so I feel like fall. We're starting to bring back that dramatic makeup again, you know? Okay, we are ready to move back to the face now. And y'all know I really like the Maybelline Matte and Poreless, but unfortunately, I don't even have a shade right now that's gonna match me because this is my natural skin tone. Like, I haven't self-tan in weeks. It's been a long time. So, um, I think I'm gonna dig back into this old favorite of mine. This is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Makeup in W4 Natural Beige. And you can see a huge difference in the two foundations. If you have a Maybelline Fit Me, I love Maybelline Fit Me. I think that's an amazing foundation. And, you know, honestly, guys, just go with whatever you're feeling on the day. Lately, my skin has been very up and down. Um, so I feel like I've had to kind of work with my skin and change up my foundations when I need it. Like, let's say my skin's feeling super dry, I'll use a more hydration, hydration, hydrating foundation. Um, if my skin is doing great, I'll use more sheer coverage and then maybe use a little bit more concealer, you know? Like, I've been trying to work with my skin more so. Because if you think about it, when a makeup artist does your makeup professionally, they are always looking at your skin. They ask you, how's your skin feeling? Do you have oily skin? Do you have dry skin? Stuff like that and how different products are gonna work for you, you know? So just something to keep in mind. I feel like that's actually really important not to just always use the same products, but to kind of, you know, make sure that you're using the right products. I'm gonna bring it down my neck as well just to make sure the shade is perfect. Because now it kind of seems a little light, but it's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna make it work, don't worry. This was probably my shade, my foundation shade from winter. I feel like I have a little bit of a summer tan right now, just naturally, like without even having to self tan, but that's fine, that'll work. Alrighty, next up, what do we have to do? I really like these eyes, you guys coming together. I practiced this eye, the one that I did off camera, about six times before I actually started filming. And honestly, this is not anywhere near the eye look that I was going for. It's the same tones um, because I knew kind of like what color scheme that I want to do, but it, girl, it is not the eye look that I thought I was going to create today, but I really like it. Like, I really think that I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so for concealer, I'm going to be using another L'Oreal product. This is an amazing concealer from the drugstore. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in the shade for natural beige. This is really similar to NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in my opinion. I really, really like it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place this everywhere that I need to conceal and highlight. So down the middle of the face. Ooh, I just remembered that I used a way lighter foundation shade and I'm using the exact same concealer shade as I normally do. We'll see how that works out for me, but we may need to uh, backtrack a little bit here. I'm gonna mix in a light shade as well so this is that is not lighter 
It's the shade two, and the other is the shade four, but that is like the same color, just a different undertone. Okay. Will this be lighter? This is like Battle of the Concealers over here. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer, and this is the shade Light Medium Beige. Let's see if it's any lighter. No, oh my gosh, these are all like exactly the same shade. I mean, but it's cool, but like, a little predicament here. Okay, I'm gonna try this. This is actually a different product. This isn't a uh, concealer, so I'll blend this in first, then I'm gonna go over the areas that I wanna highlight with this guy. So this is the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Highlighter. It's kind of like the uh, YSL, you know, touche clot, touche clot, and it just comes out like that. Oh, oh, it's light. You can tell I'm not used to not being self tan <laughs> We'll go in with that after I blend in this concealer just to kind of brighten everything up. That is not a concealer on its own. It really doesn't have much coverage at all. I would only really recommend it going over top of a concealer like we're going to be doing today. And then I'm just going to blend that out again with this little beauty sponge. This is from Real Techniques. It's a really, really good, affordable blender option. And I think you can, I usually get mine from Ulta. You can probably get it at like Target. It's really, really good though. Ooh, I like that. It really did brighten it up. Okay. Okay. We, we're getting somewhere now. I think I'm going to try out this new product from Revlon. It's the Photo Ready Insta Fix Highlighting Stick. And I think I'm going to just take a little bit on my ring finger and kind of dab it on to the high points of the cheekbones. And this is in the shade Gold Light, by the way. But we're going to be going over that with powder as well. I just kind of like to make a little base so that our highlight is just popping from outer space some cream contouring. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Toast. It's a really, really good affordable cream contour, honestly. Boom. We're just gonna dab it on here. I'm just taking the side of the beauty blender and kind of pressing upwards like so. And see how it creates such a like cool toned contour? It's really, really nice. And the good thing about this, if you feel like you've gone a little too hard, because we haven't added on powders or anything, you can still for sure go back in with, you know, a little bit of foundation on your blender and just kind of blend it out and make it really, really seamless. Now, to set all that down, I'm gonna be using the RCMA No Color Powder. This is an absolutely incredible loose powder that is very, very affordable. This whole thing is like 10 or $12, I think, and it's three ounces. Literally gonna last you forever. I legit have spilled out so much of this and I still have so much left because you really don't need that much powder to bake with, honestly. Sometimes we go a little overboard. So I just take a little bit and I stamp it on like so. I only bake underneath the eyes and then down towards the smile lines because those are the only places where I tend to get creasy. If you have more oily skin, then you might wanna bake even more places. If you have skin more on the dry side, then you might not wanna bake at all. It kind of really depends on your skin type, but I do always go back in with a press powder and just set the rest of the face. And then for that step, I'm using this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Powder in the shade 23 Nude Beige. I just kind of lightly go over all the areas that we need to set. And then we had to go back and wipe away the excess baking powder. And honestly, guys, I don't know what is going on with this pimple. I swear it's been on my face for over a week, and I don't know why it's, like, not going away. But you know what to do when you got a pimple. Turn it into a little beauty mark with either a brow powder, which is what I usually use, or just like a dark brown matte eyeshadow. Okie dokie, artichokey. Next up, I wanted to add on some highlight real quick. This is what I'm gonna be using. I've never tried it out, actually. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder, and it looks freaking incredible. It looks like it's gonna be the perfect shade. You know what I mean? That light champagne gold. Woo! Yes, 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 yes. I'm just gonna take that on my absolute favorite highlighter brush of all time, the Sigma Strobing Fan F42. And go ahead and dust that. Whoo, Wet n Wild makes a good highlight. Damn, Daniel, back at it again. This brush is like amazing for really detail highlighting, like really getting it right on that precise line. I legit cannot get over this, uh, this highlighter right now. It's, it's impressive. 
not gonna lie. I haven't actually been going down the middle of the nose because I think I just go too hard on that part particularly. Like I just feel like I go way too hard and then it looks like I literally have a line, but I'm just gonna go really, really lightly here. And I've learned that you do not wanna connect. Don't connect this to this. It looks crazy, believe me. I saw some pictures of myself and I was like, why would you do that to yourself? So see what I mean? Like leave a little space right here. Trust, trust. I didn't know this was gonna be so pigmented, honestly. So I'm just gonna go back in and kind of blend out the edges. And we're also gonna go in with a uh, bronzer right after this so that we can warm the face back up. And again, kind of continue to blend out those edges. And for the bronzer, I'm using the Maybelline Master Bronze Palette. And I'm just gonna take this like second to darkest shade over here and go in with like padding motions back here towards the hairline and then bring this shade down. In my last video, y'all went hams on me throwing shade for using too much bronzer. I pointed it out in the video. I knew that I used too much, but the problem was my that concealer, because this was, oh, I'm sorry, this wasn't my last video. It was the one before that. It was the one where I was testing all new makeup, so the concealer that I used was just like insanely light. It literally made my face look like a ghost. So I then went on to use a bronzer that was way too light as well. So I was like, you know what, we're gonna have to step it up a notch. So I went a little heavy handed with the bronzer, I will admit, but I pointed that out and I was like, it's okay, we'll fix it. I blended out, I thought I blended it out well enough. I thought that it looked fine at the end, but so many of you guys were like, rocks, overload on the bronzer. And I was like, I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry. Sometimes I make mistakes. But this bronzer actually looks really, really beautiful. I feel like I've used it a long time ago, but I didn't remember like what it looked like. And I, I think I probably used the darker shade as well because I was probably self-tan, but this shade is really beautiful. We're gonna add on some blush next. Whew, how beautiful does this look? This is the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Red Vino. Oh. Ooh, so pretty. Did I apply too much? And before we finish up, I'm just gonna add a little zhuzh to the bottom lashes here. Dude, I'm telling you guys, this mascara is... I've never seen anything like it. Like, I feel like I look like Twiggy right now. That's how crazy the bottom lashes are. Then, for the lip color, I definitely want to do something vampy. Something just, you know, classic fall. So, I thought I would use the I Love Sada E Times Colourpop Ultra Matte Lip and Lippy Pencil combo. This is both in the shade Mamacita, so I think they're meant to like be worn together. So I'm first just going to line my lips with the lip pencil. I'm going to go in a little bit, fill it in just a little on the outside. kind of want it to be darker and then go to that beautiful red on the inside. And I'm going to go over that with this lip glow. I've actually never used this even though I've had it for a bit. It's my first time. That is it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm so excited for you guys to see this look because I really, 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 really love how it turned out. But also I'm just so excited for fall. Like honestly, I love fall time. I love everything about fall time. I love fall makeup, obviously. You know, bold lips, vampy lips, copper tones, warms, rust, cranberry, give it all to me. A bold wing, just, ooh, I'm excited. Let's just put it that way. But I also just love fall in general. Like I love pumpkin everything and like being cozy and when the weather starts to get a little cooler because right now it's a little hot in LA. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm so excited for fall. So I hope you guys are excited too. I'm going to be doing lots more fall makeup tutorials and fall makeup videos. So make sure to let me know what you guys want to see. If you guys want to see more, you know, drugstore affordable fall makeup looks, or if you want to see kind of like a mixture of both and also what type of looks you want to see. Like, I feel like this is kind of like my start, my transition into fall makeup. And um, I'm excited for some future looks that I'm going to create. So that is going to be it. Subscribe right down below to this channel right here if you're interested in lots more fall makeup and just makeup in general. And also subscribe to my vlogging channel if you want to see more of just like everyday sort of rocks. Just me being my little crazy old self. And um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. So that is going to be it for me. Remember, you are beautiful and sitting out. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you next time.